Hurricane Dorian still poses a significant threat to the southeastern United States, and that means the work is not done for the NOAA Hurricane Hunters based out of Lakeland Linder Airport. We doing a uh, RMW drop this way? NOAA flight crews have been flying into Hurricane Dorian for more than a week now. These reconnaissance missions gather critical information on the current state of the storm. We were in it just as it became a hurricane northeast of uh, Puerto Rico, and then, of course, it became that that nightmare storm that headed in toward the Bahamas. Flight meteorologists released drop signs to investigate the structure of the storm below. These probes detect atmospheric conditions as they fall downward through a storm, something like a reverse weather balloon. This data is sent directly to the National Hurricane Center and is ingested into weather forecast models, significantly improving their accuracy. This is a classical a uh, very intense storm. The hurricane hunters fly a special grid pattern through the storm featuring several bumpy, sometimes really bumpy, trips through the eye wall and into the calm eye. Collecting as much data and placing as many expendables as we feel necessary to pinpoint better data, better modeling, and give, give everybody a better idea of how strong and where this storm is going. The NOAA Hurricane Hunters have been flying up to 10-hour missions into Dorian twice daily for the last 10 days. It's pretty grueling, but uh, you know, plenty of rest, plenty of exercise, and flying with some of the best aviators in the world, some of the best professionals in the world, makes it real easy. Yeah. Even after four decades of tracking hurricanes for flight director Jack Parrish, no storm and no forecast are the same. Been through the eye of a storm, I think now about 620 times and every one of them is unique. In Lakeland, Ian Oliver, 8 on your side.